I remember the day we launched the Kickstarter like it was yesterday. We spent the entire month shooting videos, trying to perfect the text, figuring out our social media strategy, and we were pretty confident when we clicked that big button. When it comes, I guess. About to launch the Kickstarter. Click! Oh, wait, now we have to get oh, Now we have to get Okay, important oh, reminders. Okay, 30 days, $10,000. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> It's, it's anti uh, Oh No, red! Oh, what does red error mean? Occurred in order to review watch, your backer rewards. Oh, this was in March. <laughs> okay. Here we go. He successfully did it! It's there! Your project Drum Congratulations! Drum roll. Live on Kickstarter! I remember the first few stages of Kickstarter was to just work and be super disciplined in our work and focused and finally when we when we raised that first one thousand dollars i actually felt like i had the space and time for celebration so guys we're over a thousand dollars how do you feel uh... great oh! you wonderful i was shocked at how well it was received i was shocked at how much money we could raise in such a short period of time for such a small project. I was really confident that we are going to reach 100% funding, but I was extremely shocked that we got $1,000 in four hours. I mean, a tenth of the funding in a fraction of a day. Over $1,000, how do you feel? Confident. Very, very confident. $30,000 When we launched it and then we saw how great it was going, uh, we had this amazing feeling of success. Uh, it was unbelievable to see that uh, something that we put so much of our time and heart into was doing so good and moving so fast and we were getting all the support that we needed and uh, nothing could stop us, you know, and uh, I was just super excited to, to get it all together and to show the world that it's, it's that simple to, to make positive change for the planet. Over $1,000 Five hours, not even. So, yeah, 29 days to go to get that 90% line. And then after 10 days, we actually had, had made our goal, and I remember I was flipping shit. Did we do it? Did we do it? <laughs> it was one of the, the proudest moments uh, of my life thinking back on you know everything that it took to get to that point and working with the you know the great team that I had and and the amazing collaboration that we had with people from around the world who believed in the cause that uh, that we were so passionate about you know it's funny because we thought the Kickstarter was gonna be the hard part you know raising ten thousand dollars but it turned out to be the exact opposite with the actual building process being much more difficult we had put everything in place so that uh, no laws were breached by building the, uh, the greenhouse and uh, unexpectedly to us they said no and um, you need more and more and more and all of a sudden everything that you know like everything we put into it was just hit a wall and it was just like you guys gotta figure it out now. So one of the things that Valhalla did really well is that we were super 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 persistent in spite of the fact that we were getting a lot of no's. Um, you know, a lot of people told us that using tires in construction in Quebec was just not gonna happen or take 10 years to, to get something like that approved. Sometimes you think things are gonna be amazing and then all of a sudden you hit a wall, um, the only thing you need to do is not stop. And you need to continue and believe in yourself and you'll get it done, just like we did. Just being persistent, finding all the things that we needed, finding the experts and the uh, engineers and architects that would support these types of structures, and going right to the source, finding um, the man himself, Michael Reynolds, to help uh, support this movement, to come to Montreal to talk about it. It was really, uh, it's been amazing. We need to, to have a close relationship to the municipality. We need to explain them everything that we did, because we had before, before that. And... Uh, yeah, that was, that was a great experience because so much good came out of it. Uh, the lesson is uh, reaching out to your local community and working with your municipality because, hey, uh, we create this reality together and uh, until we uh, approach it with as much love as possible, it's not going to happen.
So I'm standing outside the Earthship inspired greenhouse at Valhalla's land. We're pretty much done the outside of the greenhouse, but we've got one big job left to do and we're going to need some help. We've got to cob the rest of the interior of the Earthship greenhouse. So we're looking for 15 volunteers to come out this Saturday, September 28th, to come and learn how to make cob and help us finish the Earthship greenhouse. So email ha 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 at valhallamovement.com to reserve your spot. See you this weekend. From getting the permit with the city to managing 50 plus volunteers for over two weeks, that's a lot of cooking.